There's one there, look. Come a bit closer, guys. Guys, <laughs> keep going. Fuck, 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 fuck. We've got something. Yeah, we got it. We got him. Fernando, that is amazing. Great catch. So this is a really good sized, probably male black caiman. And uh, right now he has rope in exactly the right place. Wow, look at that. And we just need to wait for him to tire ever so slightly so that we can bring him up onto the bank and start to take measurements. Now, this may all look pretty brutal, but they are incredibly robust animals, and it's essential for both his safety and ours that he just loses a little bit of this fight and aggression, because... Oh, wow! Right now, all he wants to do is bite a hole in the boat, and I'm not surprised. Wow, he is a monster! Next, we deal with his main weapon, those formidable teeth. One of the most extraordinary things about crocodilians is that they have huge, heavy jaws, very bony, and with massive muscles that drive them shut all around here. But the muscles that open the jaw are comparatively tiny, so much so that you can hold their jaws shut with just a couple of wraps of simple electrical tape, even a massive black caiman like this. He, uh, he put up quite a fight. Yeah, man, it was a nice catch. Whoa, he is heavy. Taping his jaw keeps him still, so we're able to handle him safely. So we're gonna start the measurements in the head. 58. So it's usually that measurement there, about seven times that um, is the total length of the, of the crocodile. That would mean he would be about three and a half, maybe even nearly four meters yeah, long. I think it's about 12 feet. Yeah? yeah. That's, that's big. He's twice as long as I am tall. It's a real privilege to be up close to this perfectly adapted predator, an animal that's hardly changed in over 200 million years and is the ultimate stealth hunter. Probably the most perfect thing about crocodiles is the fact that all of the senses are located on top of the head. So you've got the nostrils here, the eyes obviously here, and you might just see as the eye opens, the third eyelid sliding backwards. That can be used almost like a pair of goggles to protect the eye underwater. And then the last thing are the ears, which are here. So essentially, just by having that thin sliver of the head exposed above the surface of the water, all of its senses can still work and other animals just can't see it because all of this huge bulk is submerged. Fantastic, so, uh, ready for a release? Yeah. I think this is one of the most magnificent creatures you could ever see. And let's hope that he's gonna head in to the water. No, I am, I'm watching. He's not in any rush and needs a bit of gentle coaxing. Wow, ah! the clout from the tail there. And in he goes. What a magnificent sight. You can see how this animal can just go from being totally still to explosive in a millisecond. That really is the secret to their success. Amazing. God dear, he nearly belted me into the water. <laughs> 